On November 28, 2024, the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force JMSDF, celebrated the official naming and launching of its latest addition to the fleet, the landing support vessel Waiokeo. The ceremony, held at the Naikai Shipbuilding Corporation Satoda Shipyard, signals a crucial development in Japan's defense strategy, marking the progress toward establishing a new joint operational unit within the Self-Defense Forces SDF. This new unit will enhance the collaboration between Japan's ground, maritime, and air self-defense forces, furthering the country's readiness to respond to diverse security challenges. The Waiokeo is designed to be a multi-purpose vessel capable of supporting a wide range of missions, from humanitarian assistance and disaster relief to defense operations in the Indo-Pacific region. Equipped with cutting-edge technology, the ship features a versatile design that can transport cargo, vehicles, and personnel, making it a key asset for the JMSDF's operational flexibility. The vessel also emphasizes environmental sustainability, aligning with Japan's broader defense policy, which seeks to reduce the environmental impact of its military operations. One of the most notable aspects of the YOKO is its advanced navigation and communication systems, which ensure it can operate effectively in challenging maritime environments. These systems will allow the vessel to maintain high operational readiness, particularly in complex regional security scenarios. The vessel is expected to be officially commissioned by the end of the fiscal year and will be operated by the newly established Maritime Transport Group. This group's formation is part of Japan's strategic shift towards greater interoperability among its defense branches, aiming to streamline operations and improve coordination between the ground, maritime, and air self-defense forces. The YOKO is not just a new addition to Japan's fleet, but also a symbol of the country's broader strategic priorities. By unifying resources and improving coordination, the ship will bolster Japan's ability to respond to natural disasters and security threats, particularly in the Indo-Pacific region. The introduction of this new vessel highlights Japan's commitment to enhancing its regional engagement and maintaining stability in the face of rising geopolitical tensions. Officials from the Japanese Ministry of Defense emphasize that the YOKO will play a crucial role in Japan's operational efficiency, improving the SDF's readiness to address both domestic and regional challenges. The vessel will help Japan fulfill its responsibilities as a maritime power while reinforcing its strategic position in the Indo-Pacific. The YOKO represents the latest chapter in Japan's ongoing efforts to modernize its amphibious and logistical capabilities. Prior to the YOKO, the JMSDF operated several classes of tank landing ships, LSTs, each serving distinct roles in maritime operations. In the early 1960s, Japan introduced the Osumi class LSTs, which were former U.S. Navy LST-542 class ships transferred to Japan under the Mutual Security Assistance MSA agreement. These vessels were integral to Japan's early post-war amphibious operations, providing essential support for maritime transport and operational deployments. In the early 1970s, the Itsumi-class LSTs replaced the aging Osumi-class vessels. These domestically built ships had a standard displacement of 1,500 tons and were primarily used for logistical support, including the transportation of heavy construction equipment. The Itsumi class consisted of three ships, Itsumi, Motobu, and Nemuro, commissioned between 1972 and 1977. The Miura class LSTs, commissioned in the mid-1970s, followed the Itsumi class ships. With a standard displacement of 2,000 tons, the Miura class featured enhanced logistical and amphibious capabilities. The class included three ships, Miura, Ojika, and Satsuma, commissioned between 1975 and 1977. Notably, the Satsuma was used to trial new weaponry, such as the OTO Malara 76mm compact gun. The Waiokeo S debut marks a significant step forward in Japan's defense capabilities not only enhancing its operational flexibility but also reinforcing its commitment to regional security and stability. As the new landing support vessel prepares to join the fleet, it stands as a testament to Japan's evolving defense posture, emphasizing sustainability, technological innovation, and greater coordination among its self-defense forces.